Hello, friends. Wait just a moment for our friends to show up. Hi, Brielle. I don't see you. I see your face. There you go. Not yet. Hey, Ivy. Hey, Elijah. Hey, Landon. Kaysa and Penny. CJ. Hey, Mason. Sophia. There's Tyler. There's Cruz. Hey, guys. How's everybody doing? Good? Oh, what's wrong, Sophia? Why you have thumbs thumbs down? You okay? There's Brielle. Now I see you. Awesome. What's wrong, Sophia? Can you hear me? Yes. Oh, I wanted to uh, ask you because you unlocked today. So we did the last assignment. Okay. As soon as I get off, I will see. Um, I will go check it and grade it. All right. Thanks. Yes, sir. Sophia, are you okay, sweetheart? Yeah, are you, were you just playing with thumbs down or are you serious? You disappeared. Okay, I was just making sure you're okay, girl. I'll worry about you. I hope everybody's like, thumbs up. Woof, 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 woof. All right, well, we're gonna get started. Everybody's like, okay, just really tired. I know I'm tired this morning, but I'm still trying to do the best I can. All right. What's wrong, Kason? What's up? Oh, I thought you said something was wrong like that. Same thing, Selena? You just okay? Kind of, yeah, I understand. All right. Yes, Mason. Last question, we're gonna get started. I just wanted to get a temperature check. What's that? This one? Oh, yes. That's a lot of fun. I love it. All right. We're going to do this activity today during our live lesson. And the reason I chose this activity was because when I was checking the work last night, I noticed about half of you understood it, but then the other half was just not quite sure. And so I want to make sure that we clear that up and um, you're able to um, fix what you need to fix, okay? Yes, Selena, you had a question? Oh, the, the morning meeting? Well, the purpose of the morning meeting is for us to get to know each other, play some games, do some activities, um, have a little fun. The purpose of the 1030 meeting is to learn. It's our, it's our one opportunity a day to have a live lesson together. Um, what's gonna start happening next week, it, or I'm hoping next week or the week after, um, will be uh, small groups. So I'll be meeting with you in groups of like four or five kids at a time. And we'll have a couple of live lessons like that. And there'll just be a few of us on the computer and we'll be working together, having a lot of fun and doing really cool math and uh, reading activities together. All right, kind of like a book clubs. There'll be a lot of fun. All right, here we go. All right, today's work, what I want you to do is I want you to fill in the tens and the ones column. Now, what I noticed a lot of people did so I don't know if they realized that there's a little wheel there. And I was super excited when you, to get to it, just click on the link. It will open up the page and it's super fun. It's kind of like Wheel of Fortune. I love that show. And the winner is seven. There goes the fireworks. All right, so now we go back to the thing 
and we want seven. So if I do seven of these, maybe I can do it faster. Nope, it's not gonna have to cooperate. That's why I figured I better use my mouse. I thought maybe it'd be cooler and I thought maybe it'd be cool and let me do it, but it's, uh, you know, technology. <laughs> Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I had a lot of friends, when they got down here to the seven, they just wrote a seven here. Is that correct or incorrect? Ooh, I see a lot of thumbs down. How do you know it's not correct, Tyler? Why is it wrong? What's wrong with it? How do you know? Because these are tens, right? So what, what should it be? Should it be seven? What am I missing? How do I fix it? A zero. Where do I put the zero in front? Or do I put it behind? In the back of it, good. What happens if I put it in front? Nothing, it's still seven, right? But if I put it behind, then it's 70. Each one of these rods is worth 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Oops, it looks like I need one more. If it'll cooperate, come on computer, cooperate with me. There you go, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. So now I did it right. So now I go back to my wheel and I spin it again. See what it lands on. It could land on anything. Six. Looks like the winner. Yep, six is my winner. So now I go back to my other page and I need six of these little guys. Two, three, four, five, and six. Does it matter where you put it? No, as long as it's in this column. I had some friends yesterday, they tried to uh, move these ones over here. No, that's wrong. Sorry, this is the tens column. And I know that because it gives a little symbol right there. So this is my placemat. I gotta make sure that my ones is underneath my ones, okay? How I'm, now, what do I put in this one? Can I put it six? Penny. Penny, what are you doing, sweetie? All right, is it okay to put six or do I put 60? Penny, are you there? We're not playing right now, sweetheart. Will you unmute yourself, please? Penny. Penny, unmute yourself. Give me a chance to answer the question. That's why you gotta pay attention, okay? So, I put a six here. Is that correct, or do I need to do six D? And put a zero. Six. A six, why? is 76 right awesome all right let's do one more example like i said when i was checking it yesterday i know several of my friends missed this question missed these questions all together 
and I had a whole I had a whole bunch of 40s and 50s and 30s. So that's all like, uh oh, spaghetti. -o. All right, here we go. All right, this time, Michelle, give me a number. So you can also do it this way. You can give um, give me a number, a digit, one through nine, zero through nine. Uh, I would say five. Five. All right. So I'm gonna move my five over here. One, two, three, four, and five. Notice it doesn't have to be perfect. It's all good. So now what? Now what, Selena? How many is that? I put a five here. Did I just leave the five alone? Or what did I do? Add a... It's five tens, right? Good. The reason why is because there's five tens, right? The zero is in the ones place, the five's in the tens place. So, Caesar, give me a number. Zero through nine. You gotta unmute yourself. Zero through nine. Any number. Six. Six. You got it, dude. I wish my smart board was smart and I could just touch it, but oh well. Two, three, four, five, and six. All right. So who have I not called on? Let's see. Let's see. Landon. So if I put a six here, do I need to put a zero or anything? No, why? Good. The tens are on this, are the second number, ones are the first number. Good. What's 50 plus 6, Mason? Good. 56. All right, so remember when you're doing these kind of activities and you have one today that says adding the tens and ones, you're gonna do the same process. The only one I saw turn that in so far was, I believe, Kason. I believe was the only ones, or yeah, so far. Um, but I had several other students working on it, okay? So that's how you're gonna do that on the adding tens and ones today. All right, let's do one more. This one's already done for us. So we're gonna do this one right here. All right, this one, we if we do this, do a different problem. Let's see if we'll cooperate with me. Give me a number, who have I not called on, Brielle. Give me a number, zero through nine. Ten? Well, it has to be, well, the deal is, is that that's actually two numbers. That's a one and a zero. And I can I can only have numbers zero through nine in one column. So it has to be zero through nine. Nine, you said? Okay, you got it. And give me a second number, Ivy. Zero through nine. Um, six. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then six, you said, right? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Awesome. So what they want you to do over here on the ink, on this hundred chart, is they want you to find the 90. 
and then you add six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So what's my answer? 96. 90 plus six equals 96. And then what you do is you come over here. I don't know if it's gonna work, so I'll use my mouse to make sure. Is they want you to do the plus one. So each one of these is plus one. And I know I usually call on people, I'm speeding things up to make sure I try to finish quickly. All right. So this one, zero plus, how many ones are there? Cruz, how many ones are there? Um, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. I know it's the reason I did that with you, buddy, is it's hard it's hard to see. I get it. Zero plus six is six. How did I know it was six also? Because I looked over here at the this problem right here. Alright, so that's how you fill that in at the bottom. Okay, friends? Alright. So when you do the activity today in the tens and ones, that's how you do that. All right, are there any questions? Mason, are you stretching or you have a question? I have a question. Yes, sir. There's, there's, a, there's 100 points today. Yes, uh, in the uh, problems today, yes, there's a 100 chart. And the hundreds, tens, and ones. The only thing you're going to worry about is the tens and the ones. I did a hundred. Is that okay? That's fantastic. The reason I threw in the hundreds place is to see how many students, when I said 51, can you put the fives in the right place? Can you put the ones in the right place? If I say 99, can you put the nine in the right, the nines in the right spot? That's the whole purpose. That's the, only, that's the whole reason there's a hundreds place today. Okie dokie. But we're not, you don't have to do the hundreds unless you want to do the hundreds. I am only expecting you to do the tent, the ones and the tens. Okay? It's good. It's, that's not gonna hurt you to do the other. That's fine. As long as, as long as you added it up correctly, it's fine. Okay? All right. You guys have a wonderful, fantastic day. I will see you later. See you in the morning. If you have comments, questions, or anything you want to share, stay on. I'll be happy to listen. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 All right, let me go turn off my recording. I'll be right back.